Dad, someone asked what Ehring's whole theory is. Sounds like science gossip about Swiss cheese. Not quite. It's a model in physical chemistry that explains how molecules move in a liquid. In solids, molecules are locked in place. In gases, they move freely. But in liquids, they're packed, but still sliding past each other. So where do the holes come in? Imagine the liquid is a crowded dance floor. Each molecule has a tiny space, a hole next to it. For a molecule to move, it needs an empty hole nearby to jump into. But creating that hole takes energy. That's the activation energy of motion. So motion in a liquid is like a game of molecular musical chairs? Exactly. Ehring's theory says the liquid's viscosity depends on how easily these holes form and how fast molecules hop into them. Higher temperature, more energy, more holes, easier flow. Lower temperature, fewer holes, thicker liquid. So it's not just random, there's an energy cost to moving in a liquid. Right, the theory bridges solid-like behavior and gas-like motion, giving a quantitative way to predict viscosity based on temperature and molecular structure. So next time I pour syrup, I'm really watching a high-energy hole-hopping competition? That's the sticky truth. <laughs>